The mind conjures imaginary worlds that only skepticism can destroy. Miao Xiao Twins Works, generated on computers, confronts viewers with a virtual world full of riddles, wonders, and coloristic subtlety. It is an art form he calls algorithmic painting, fusing human thought with computing to transcend the boundaries between the real and the virtual, while drawing on his extensive knowledge of iconography and the classical works of European art. Like you said in early previews, you, ten something years ago you were totally illiterate with computer technology. Well, now you're using computers every day in your artistic creation. What does it mean to you now, digital yeah. art? Using computer and uh, software is a base for me, so I must uh, begin with computer and software. Mm. Yes, I can stop uh, using computer for one day if I want to have vacation, but I think in many professional fields, computer is a must mm. instead of a choice. Why they cannot stop computer for just one second? But for the field of art. Using computer is still a choice instead of a must. I must continue to use it, it and develop a new style, mm. yeah, a new language. Yeah. These paintings are definitely different from what we are used to seeing in many exhibitions in galleries. Yeah. How would you describe them? What are these paintings about? Yes, some critics say such paintings are rhythmic painting. Mm. So the process is like this. One step is to build 3D model in software uh, and then I get vector line. Second step is to connect the computer to cutting plot. So I can cut a cover with uh, uh, such cutting plot mm -hmm. on masking tape. And the third step is to put such masking tape on canvas. Mm. and help me to, 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 to paint. It seems a lot of your work is on, on computers, it's been computerized. Yeah. How much of your work, in terms of percentage of your work, is done by computers? And much, how much is done actually by your, say, traditional brushwork? I want to say after 2005, all my work is based on, com on computer. Mm. Uh, I must use software like uh, 3D Max, uh, Maya, uh, such software to, to do everything. If we put the two terms together, technology development yeah. and artistic creation, yes. how much of your final work is still artistic creation now? It seems it's all computerized. Everything is done by computers now. I think at the beginning, uh, I think the creative Creative thinking is the most important and uh, yes, uh, thing. After that, uh, slowly uh, the technology thing will be important. So I will uh, take perhaps one year or one half year to do one project. Yeah. To start the idea. Yeah, j just for this idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me take one example mm -hmm. for this. In 2005, I learned two, two months uh, Compute how to do you use this uh, software, and then begin one project, the last judgment in cyberspace. Michelangelo. Yeah, Michelangelo. Yeah, masterpiece. Yeah, yeah masterpiece. Uh, very complicated uh, painting in the art history. Mm. In this fresco, there are about four hundred people in the fresco. So one day, I think the painting can only viewed from front. It's a 2D painting. Yeah, 2D. It's, it's a 2D painting, never viewed from back. So I think, what will happen when we look at look this fresco from back? So I discuss with my student. They say to me, OK, very good idea. Please do it. Go, go. You, you must, must go, 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 go there. Where will? I immediately go. You will immediately go there. You, you will, will immediately, immediately go, go there. there. 
You will go there right now. It takes me one year to right re now. replace all right these now. 400 right uh, people in the right original now. fresco. Right now. Why I must first build a 3D model and then uh, use this model to replace every person in the original painting. So it takes me about um, one year. And after that, I can turn off this fresco and then see this fresco from back. And actually, I can walk in this space while I have already built a virtual space. I can walk in and take pictures with a virtual camera and take videos with virtual video camera. So this is my first project with a 3D Max. Yeah. If you look at Michelangelo's original work, that mm -hmm. fresco painting, just one direction, you see it from the front. Yes. But at the same time, it leaves room for imagination. Yes. This is about art, basically. I mean, if you look at pictures, it's too vivid. If you yes. look at paintings, yes. this is art. Yes. If you come back to your uh, creation, yeah. are you now going to make it too vivid, act too exact, instead of leaving rooms for imagination? In the ancient time, painting is always uh, two-dimensional. Painting is always a uh, still image. So my work is want to change this two-dimensional two painting to three-dimensional and change this still image to a moving image. Mm. And in, in this process, I, I think uh, there's many, many possibilities. It sounds to many, it's interesting because we get to see what it's like behind, what it's like from you know, a different perspective. Mm -hmm. Still sounds more technical than artistic. Yes. How shall we see it? I think a uh, technical thing is also very important. Mm. While for artist, uh, he must use a language. A language is very important for artist how we express my feeling, then we, we must use language. So I think the last 10 years, what, what I do is to develop a new style, to develop a new language, to ex express myself, also to express uh, questions like uh, life and death. This question uh, we deal with already long time, many artists. Uh, say about it, but I think I want to use my language, use my style to, to discuss about it, about it. The dominant theme of Miao Xiaotun's restart is deconstruction. Nature vanishes, human bodies collapse, and civilization disappears. Will starting over bring a better world? This project, uh, I do it uh, in uh, 2010. In that time, I want to do uh, a video about life and death. While well, in that time, I, I was uh, 45 years old. Yeah. I begin to think about it. For restart, I use Beethoven Misa Solemnis for this video work. So I choose two pieces from this uh, very late work of Beethoven. This music is so great, so novel. I use small, uh, two small pieces. So when I play this music, I see my video in the same time. You know. If the image is not so strong, is not so strong enough, I will feel, okay, I should trash it. Really. I do many video pieces and then uh, to compare with this uh, music, sometimes the uh, image is not so strong, really. The music is so strong. Mm -hmm. And the image must also so strong enough to compare it. So when I do editor, editor working, I will trash many things.
Actually, I begin to choose the music uh, just just several months after I begin uh, this project here. Yeah. Mm. I begin this project, and uh, perhaps four months or the fifth, uh, five months later, I will begin to think about which music uh, I should choose. It must be extremely important in yes, your I heard, I heard many, many CDs and uh, DVDs and to choose one piece. Yeah. Mm. Uh, what is the message you try to convey? When we face such question, life and the death, uh, I think almost uh, everyone will face such question. The philosopher will answer this question with uh, text, with language, with perhaps uh, English, French or Chinese. But I, as artist, as a visual artist, I want to answer this question with a moving image, with a painting, with a sculpture, such mm. language, yeah. Life and death. Life and death. It's our, our almost a need, a must, yeah. Mm. Try to answer it. You try I, to I, I can't find the final solution, but I try, try to answer it. You haven't found the answer yet. It's just too difficult to find the answer. I can feel the power in it from mm. uh, the background music, yes. from all the images, yeah. from the figures, say, mm. in, the, in that project collapsing into yes. pieces and yes, yes. every detail I can, from, from those details, I can feel the power mm -hmm. of that project. When you look at those people yes. in the project, yeah. they look a lot like yourself. Yes, yes. Actually, I use my face. And uh, later, I also use 3D scanning, 3D scan to scan my face. And then, yes, it's true, everyone looks like me. Yeah. Is it just convenient or is there a hidden message in that? I think there's no problem why I want to build a virtual world of myself, a virtual world to express myself. Yeah. Mm. Uh, this world is not too big, very small, but I create uh, this world. Mm. One day I think the God is great. He can create everything in six days. But I can only build a model, a small model in six days. I feel I'm so small. But after I create the several pieces of uh, 3D computer an animation, I feel I'm also not so small. If you look at these people in that animation, the facial expression basically, they're solemn, but they're all the same. Yes. They might be sad, but they're all the same. Yes. Did you do that deliberately? I use only one model. Mm. I use only one model and copy them, clone them, and then I have many, many models. So you're right, they have no uh, fearless expressions. They cannot cry, they cannot laugh, but in different background, in different lighting, uh, they seem like they have facial expression. They laugh, they cry mm -hmm. in different background. You use computer a lot, you use IT technology a lot mm -hmm. now in your artistic creation. This is to you a new medium. Yes. It's all in virtual world because it's all digitalized. Mm -hmm. We don't see it like we're not seeing it here. How important is this medium and how important is the way of creating your art important to you now? Yeah, I think in certain time we will meet certain technology. I should face it, I should accept it, I should learn it and I should use it for creating my artworks. So sometimes I think this is my technology. Just in this time, mm. it's very important for me. Well, it is interesting to use computer uh, technology to help you in art mm. creation, but at the same time people might be worried that, well, computer is going to take over Yes. Your artistic creation, your mm. artistic mind, you're relying too much yes. on technology instead yes. of your artistic yes. mind. I don't think so. While at the beginning we, we, we have brush, uh, I think it's also high technique in that time, in ancient time. 
uh, when it was first how to use invented, this, yeah. yeah, how to use this brush. I think it's very difficult. Yeah, it's also very high technique in that time. So we use computer every day. Uh, this technology will be very, very common. Uh, everyone will use such technology. I think uh, after we manage it, we will not think about this technology. It only helped me. So what I want to, to do is the human brain thinking together with a computer and my hand working together with a mouse. This is just what I want to do. Yeah. Mm. What does it mean uh, in terms of its artistic creation? It means it, it gives me more power. I feel suddenly I'm not alone. Many, many people help me mm. with computer. So I feel powerful, yeah. I'm sure you have a lot of uh, assistants helping you now in your artistic creation. Yes. Do you have more IT guys or do you have more fine arts students? Uh, someone is IT guy and someone come from the art academy. <laughs> While the, the assistant come from art academy, they have more, I think, more fantastic. Mm. They can do something wrong. I need to do something wrong. Why? If you do everything correct, it's boring. Mm. When we have a problem in studio, I was a person who finds the solution, but I'm the person who who is a bad tech uh, in technology. Yeah. See the world in color. You didn't actually study art in, uh, for your uh, undergraduate. Yeah. You went to Nanjing, Nanjing University, yes. to study language. And it's German. Yes. How did this happen? Why, well, I haven't passed the examination. To the art <laughs> you were academy. not good enough academically. <laughs> no, not really. Yes, really. It, that was the reason. Yes, yes. German. But how come German then? My, I mean, if it's foreign language, it's like myself in English. You know? Yes, my English is also not so good. So I, I have no choice. <laughs> so I must uh, study German. German. Yeah. That was the language. But yes. still, at the time, you were still enthusiastic in art, in fine yes, art. Yes, I love art. Uh, I still love art. That's why I apply the postgraduate program for art history. Central Academy of Fine Arts. Central Academy of Fine Arts. In art history. Yes, yes. And that was in the 80s? Uh, that was uh, 86. In 80s, no museum, no gallery to show contemporary art. It's very difficult. But we only want to do art, to paint every day. I think it's uh, really, uh, really different uh, than now. I, I remember I have no studio where I have painted so many paintings in that time. In my small apartment, in this apartment live three or four people. Mm. I cannot imagination now, yeah. Mm. How can I walk in that time? Yeah. Did you have a plan for your future of your career? Did you want to follow the traditional way of painting or did you want at the time actually to create something new, totally different from you know, the rest of your uh, fellow artists? Actually, I want to, to do something new. And that's why I cannot pass the examination to <laughs> art again. <laughs> Someone said to me, your painting looks like Picasso or Cezanne. You studied them. That's yeah. the... In the high school. In the high school. Yeah. But in, in my childhood, I can do many uh, very good paintings. Mm -hmm. So that's how this started, I guess. <laughs> yeah. In 1999, Miao Xiaotun gained his second master's degree at Künsterhoek Schule Castle in Germany. That was when his art veered from traditional painting to photography. There's a change in China. 
in last 10 years, in last 20 years, in last 30 years, is so big, so dramatic. I think never happened in other country. So I need only choose the right place, choose the right moment, and make a record. It's already a very interesting picture. Mm. So that's why I make a series of such picture under the title, The New Urban Reality. At the time for this project, you are a photographer, but at the same time, you're a classically trained painter. You had your experience in studying uh, art history in Central mm. Academy mm. of uh, Fine Arts. You also had that experience of studying in, in Germany. Mm. How are all these experiences influencing you mm. as a photographer at the time? I think the most important thing for photography is the uh, viewpoint how I look at it. So I think uh, everything just you mentioned is helped me to find such a viewpoint. Mm. Yeah. That makes you a different one, a yes, painter yes. photographer. Yes, yes. I enlarge this phot photography so large as mural paintings, normally three meter, four meter, five meter, mm. and, the, and the visitor can find every detail by themselves. Actually, they take picture by themselves in mm. such big mural, like mural painting. In the early 21st century, Miao Xiaochun started to delve into the field of digital art and became fascinated by multimedia technology. And he was moving from still images to moving images. If you look at your career, you have three, ten years. Yes. First was painting, traditional yes. way, and then photography, photography. and yeah. now a more digital, more digital vision art. Yeah. art. Yes. yes, yes, yes. But how did this all happen, all these three different uh, phases? Yes, in Germany, I was influenced by some uh, great uh, photography artists uh, like uh, Jeff Wall, Andreas Guski, Bernd Becher. And in their work, I found some possibility in photography. So that's why I changed in Germany in 1998 from painting to photography. Mm. Yeah. And then uh, after I come back to China, I find another possibility in uh, computer and the software. Mm. And that's why I changed from photography to new media to digital art in 19, uh, in. 2005. What are the biggest reasons that triggered those changes? Painting is uh, totally different uh, than photography. Photography means you have a real world, you need to face this world, everything is there, and then you must choose one moment, you must choose one point, and then uh, you will say, okay, this is interesting, I will make a record of it, I will make a photography of it. Photography is facing reality. And the painting uh, must use our imagination, use, my, uh, use our fantasy. Mm. Yeah. And the digital art, uh, I think, must combine fantasy with the technology together. Mm. Yes, it's, uh, when I think reality is more important for me than I do photography works. Yeah. And then when I think, okay, I want to express myself, I want to show my imagination, my dream, then I choose digital art. It's obvious with the computer technology, with this virtual world, there are more possibilities and mm -hmm. anything is possible. Like what we see here might not happen in the real world. So with this virtual reality, with this virtual world of art creation, and with this real world, which is more intriguing to you? Before 2005, 
is a real world. After 2005 is a virtual world. Why? After 2005, I do many projects with uh, 3D software. The uh, first project is the Last Judgment in Cyberspace, and then H2 Genesis, Microcosm, Restart, uh, Disillusion, Limitless, and uh, Out of Nothing. All of this is virtual world. Mm -hmm. I actually I live in such a world, in this world, day and the night. Mm -hmm. yeah. Are you worried that in the future you or your partners, your colleagues or other fellow artists who are now doing similar things, yeah. they will be driven by technology instead of uh, the artistic creation? No, I don't, uh, I don't worry about it. I think sh uh, we should have more and more people to do this. And then I can learn from them. If we paint with brush, I think it's, it's, it's not only one people do, to do such thing. I think many, many people painted with brush, so they can learn each other. Mm. They can influence each other. I think this is very important. I hope uh, someone can influence me. I hope I can uh, learn something from the other artist mm. Mm. Uh, who use the same technology. I'm always when I see some artworks using same technology. Mm. I was you so, don't see it as competition. I was so exciting. Okay, he used same technology and he do, do in this way and uh, what I can, I can do in my way. Where do you see this going in the future? I think uh, there are so many things to do. I will take all my time to do it. Yeah. Mm. What would be your biggest worry about this? I worry only about I have no time to do it, yeah, really. But Perhaps I have 10 years or 15 years again to do it. Why? You know, when we work with computer, you, it's really tired. Mm. It's much more tired than you work with brush or other things. Mm. Much, a, much more tired. It's a new way of artistic creation. Yes. You mentioned in the near future you're going to have your 3D printed out yes. version of your artwork. So yes. I certainly look forward to seeing that in yes. the near future. Yes. Thank you thank once you, again thank you. for your time. Thank you. Thank you.